Today we're solving a problem involving radical equations. Can you solve this problem? If the square root of x squared minus 36 is equal to 8, then what do you think is the value or values of x that will make this equation true? Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. If the square root of x squared minus 36 is equal to 8, then the value of x is equal to? So the given problem involves a radical equation. And in solving radical equations, we need to do the inverse operations. The inverse operation for square root is taking the square. So in this problem, we need to take the square of both sides. Simplifying this, the square root and the square will cancel out. So left side becomes x squared minus 36. Right side 8 squared means 8 times 8 and that is 64. Isolating the variable x on the left, we need to do the inverse of minus 36, which is adding 36 to both sides. Negative 36 plus 36 is 0, so left side is only x squared. Right side is 64 plus 36, which is 100. So what do you think is the value for x that will make this x squared equals 100 true? Are you thinking of x is equal to 10? Yes, that works because 10 to the second power means 10 times 10, which is equal to 100. So 10 is correct. Can you think of other value of x that will make this true? Will negative 10 work? If we substitute negative 10 to the x, we have negative 10 to the second power that means negative 10 times 10, which is also equal to 100. So 10 and negative 10 will work. In this equation, x squared is equal to 100. Solving for the x, we need to take the inverse operation for a square. This means we need to take the square root of both sides. So again, the square and the square root will cancel out. So it's just going to be x. The square root of 100 is 10. The value of x in this problem will be positive 10 and negative 10 because when you substitute 10 or negative 10, the equation will be true. Let's check our answers. First, let's plug in 10. We have the square root of 10 squared minus 36 is equal to 8. Simplifying inside the square root, 10 squared is 100 minus 36 is it equal to 8. Simplifying the radicands, 100 minus 36 is 64, so we have square root of 64. And the square root of 64 is 8. So yes, 10 will work. Now let's try to plug in x is equal to negative 10. Substituting x equals negative 10, we have the square root of negative 10 to the second power minus 36 is equal to 8. Simplifying the radicands, Negative 10 squared means negative 10 times negative 10, which is 100. Minus 36, is it equal to 8? So the same thing with the work on the left side. 100 minus 36 is 64. And of course, when you get the square root of 64, that is also equal to 8. So in this problem, there are two answers. X can be positive 10 or negative 10. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Celso Academy.